hey guys we're gonna start off this week i'm getting ready it's sunday and i'm just gonna fill you in on kind of what's been going on and what the next week looks like because it's gonna be a another crazy week okay so um my job search which i've been telling you guys about i've been trying to find a remote job that is a bit flexible that i can do while i'm auditioning and working on my theater career um that search it's like truly gone to shit um and now i'm deciding to just like put my energy in other things i'm still applying to some jobs but yeah basically maybe i'll tell you guys some stories later because one of them is crazy like one of these stories is wild but basically i've like gotten through a handful not even some interviews and one of them basically thought i was getting hired um and then none of them panned out um and it has been even more exhausting than trying to find theater work like finding work in the normal corporate world this was way worse it felt like than theater like it just it was it's so unrewarding it's horrible um so we'll see what happens but now i'm in the stage where i'm really collecting a bunch of little jobs and just like piecing them together to make the money i have to make so um this week upcoming i have a meeting with somebody about doing social media for a company um i have another meeting with like an event um staffing company so you do like i've done this before it's like brand promo so say like i don't know a small business is going to be at a sporting event you like wear a t-shirt with a small business and you like hand out cards or i don't know you represent different brands so i have a meeting for that um i just had a meeting with a babysitting agency last week got hired by them so i'm gonna start doing some more babysitting yeah i'm really just like adding in a bunch of jobs um i'll keep you updated on all of that we'll see how it goes um so along with that i'm doing all of that um auditioning i was gonna vlog last week but now i'm struggling with because when i started vlogging for you guys like in new york it was before things like tiktok and everything came out where like theater vloggers now exist when i st first started vlogging in 2017 2018 um theater vloggers like barely existed and now there's so much more nuance to what's like appropriate and what's not appropriate um and there are some people on tiktok who share like their full audition experiences and then they post it and like sometimes they don't mention what the show is for but like you can tell what the show is for um and I just don't know how I feel about that. Like, I do that with you guys. I'll, like, tell you I'm going on an audition, but then I don't tell you what it's for. Um, I don't know. And, like, I'm also very superstitious, and I'm, like, I don't know if I want to, like, show a lot of specifics while the possibility of getting that job is still in the air. Like, maybe I can film things, and then once I either know I didn't book it, or if I booked it, then I can share. I don't know. So I'm kind of navigating that, but I will say that last week I got an appointment to film some material for a dream show, um, for a tour. Um, and that kind of took up a lot of my last week and it was really fun to do. I had a really great time filming that. Um, so even if nothing happens, like it was fun. So that happened this week i have a few in-person auditions they're just like you know your huge auditions not appointments or anything through my agent um i just found them on playbill.com so i'm going to those i'll bring you along with me to that um taking a few classes i have those meetings i told you about for other jobs and then all while all of this is happening whoop. also i'm obsessed with this blush from elf it looks crazy right now but then you blend it in and it's like um so 
I'll try to blend in here. I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh, so through all of that, I also gave myself a deadline for my, my final edit for my novel. I want to be done by the end of this month, by the end of July. Um, that's for a few reasons. Number one, I've been working on the book for so long, I was able to really, really hammer away at it on the ship. And now that I'm back in real life, it has proven to be a lot harder. Um, so I'm working on my book. Um, I have an editor lined up to work with me in August to do like a final edit so it's nice and crisp and perfect for querying to agents, which I will be doing in the fall. So we're like getting there, guys. We're, we're gonna have some big book updates soon. So yeah, I'm dealing with jobs, um, auditioning, theater, all of that, um, keeping up, you know, everything, um, book. And I'm also like trying to have a social life. I went on a date last week, a hinge date. Maybe I'll talk to you guys about that, but like, I don't think hinge dates are my vibe. I like to meet people in the wild. Um, yeah, there's a lot. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, hey everybody. You may recognize Gabby. She's a recurring character. <laughs> Here are our delicious drinks. Yum. So good. Wow. Okay, so this is a fully gluten-free restaurant. Those are food. Yeah, looks so good. I got, well, we both got the crispy chicken sandwich. Look at that. That looks like normal bread. It does. And the fries wow. look like it too. They look like super crispy. Look at that. Look at that crisp. Delish. Yeah, so we're having a little lunch date. And that's that. Okay, I'm walking home from lunch with Gabby, and I have all of my gluten free goodies for the week. Um, bread. And then I had to get milk and lunch meat. And I get some like oat protein, no, not oat, just like oat things um, because it's really hard to get whole grains when you're gluten free. So I get these like oat um, muffin things that I can throw in my bag when I'm on the go running around New York. So it's a good way to get some carbs, whole grain in, but they're so expensive because they're gluten free. So I spent like $40, but I'm gonna need this to get me through the week. I'm home. I got this cute little notepad today. It's like a to-do list notepad. I love making lists. So we got that, got my planner out. I'm planning my week and I'm working on lesson plans for my class with the kiddos. Um. I am just trying to figure out how to run this children's ballet class I teach because it's more of an activity center. It's not like a dance studio I'm teaching at. So the ages are more wide. Um, like I had a five-year-old in class and I also had a nine-year-old in class. So it, I'm trying to figure out how to run this class so i'm doing some research right now and just like making notes and getting that all together because i teach the kiddos tomorrow all right it's monday morning i finished a big section i needed to finish in my book so there's my little official book writing space finished that i literally woke up at 7 30 and i was done with that by 8 30. I'm watching the Today Show as usual. I'm all showered and fresh, and I'm going over my schedule for the week. Um, and just trying to like take everything day by day. It's really not that crazy of a week, but for some reason my brain convinced myself it was, and convinced myself to stress over it. It's okay. I put on my chorus line shirt today to wear to dance class. Um, and I like never wear this shirt which is so dumb. Um, that's my cast. This is, I think they sold this in Japan. I'm pretty sure. Um, there's me. And yeah, I never wear it because I don't wanna be like showing up to steps like, oh, I was in a chorus line look, but like, it's so cute. I never wear it. And 
I'm so proud that I was in a chorus line, so like, why am I trying to be all weird about it? So, I'm aware to class today. I'm stepping into this like new era of confidence. I don't give a shit. That's the vibe we're going with on this Monday. <laughs> all right, we gotta pack up my stuff for the day. Shoes I wear, usually I wear these. Yeah, that's fine, I'll wear these today. Okay. And I really just need water and I'm gonna make a sandwich. Hopefully this cheese is still okay. Oh, we're good, we're good. Mustard. There we go. Gluten-free bread is literally the funniest thing in the world. Look how small these pieces are. This loaf cost me $9. There's only like, you can make like five sandwiches with this loaf, so $10. And look how little. Look at that. Compared to my hand. Tiniest sandwich ever. It's so sad. If any of you are watching this and you like think being gluten free is fine or you would consider doing a gluten free diet just because it's like a fad, don't do it. Don't. It's horrible. I didn't choose this life. She feels a little watery. Probably gonna eat this before my class, so. Well, I'll make my sandwich, I'll tell you what's today. I'm having a meeting at that studio I teach at with the owner, and we're gonna talk about me potentially helping out with some social media stuff for the company. So we're gonna talk about that. I really have no idea what is going on, but I'll fill you in later. Maybe I'm gonna walk away with the job today. Who freaking knows? Um, then right after that, I'm gonna head over to Steps for my class. It's my Monday class with Christine that I usually always take. And which before that class, cause I'm gonna need some energy. I have breakfast at like nine. My class isn't until 1.30. Then, gotta get my cheese out. And I'll come back, probably have a snack. And then I'll go right into, I'll have like a little rest. And then I'll go right into teaching um from five to seven here's my little sandwich gorge okay i got out of my meeting i have time to go back home so i can eat my lunch there um i didn't leave with a job but a possible job so we'll see i'll keep you updated on that lots of work to do good lord <sighs> I'm already exhausted and I'm like halfway through my day. I just got back from dance and I closed my eyes for like 15 minutes. Now I'm packing my ballet teaching bag, which is literally just my ballet shoes, my notes and my water. I'm leaving in like 10 minutes to teach two classes. Uh. I am exhausted. Wow. And I'll fill you in tomorrow, I think, but my Mondays are about to be get even crazier. Okay, we're gonna have like a nice relaxing wind down to get ready to go to sleep. So, let's jump into that. Okay, 
it's 9 a.m. I've already been up for like an hour and a half, just like drinking the coffee, relaxing. I'm cleaning everything on my bed, all of my laundry, so that's in. And now I'm gonna get set up to work on editing the book, so. Let me just get everything set up. just been doing my morning laundry writing um I like completely forgot about this job interview meeting I have at 11 o'clock meeting it's for like an event company sorry the lighting's weird whatever um it's for an event company to do like brand promotion and stuff so I have to look good because they're supposed to be like attractive <laughs> So I just like hustled and did my hair and makeup and I'm trying to like get all my laundry settled and then I'm gonna shove food down my throat because I still haven't eaten um, and then have this meeting. Yikes. Y'all I did it. I have like five minutes until this meeting. Got some makeup on. Hopefully this looks nice. <laughs> Shoved food down my throat. My bed is nice and made well. Look at that gorgeous and my clothes are hanging all around my apartment drying you guys so I literally just hustled for my life sit down they could not get the zoom to work um, which is fine it happens um, but I ended up just doing a phone call interview which is just so funny because I like hustled to make myself look nice and I literally like wouldn't have worn makeup today if it wasn't for that interview so that's hilarious but now I look beautiful for the vlog so <laughs> all right now I need to figure out what I want to focus on next focus on next on my to-do list because there's just a lot I am struggling in this one part in my book um, with more like grammatical things um, it has to do with tenses it's really confusing and I don't want to get into it here but I just called my grandma um my nana and asked her she has read my manuscript and she's like gone through it and she's one of my advisors so I told her what chapter I'm struggling with and she's gonna take a look at it um and see what she thinks about this issue I'm facing um so I'm gonna kind of wait for her to do that I'm gonna put the editing to the side for the day and just work on other stuff. Look at this to-do list. Damn. I just got an exciting audition come through from my agent for replacements for a Broadway show. Um, I love when auditions come through because it just gives me something new to focus on. Um, it helps me like forget about previous auditions I've done because I could focus on something new and then if something great happens from a previous audition cool I'm just gonna like get my stuff together um so tomorrow i'm auditioning for uh more of like a contemporary rock show so i want to use my this one yeah we're gonna go for that one my book i got a new binder because mine was falling apart and i wanted to get a fun color so i got this purple um and it just makes me happy so yeah it's a singer call tomorrow so we're gonna use the book i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear and pack all that up i'm taking a walk through the neighborhood tonight um and it is like i've never taken a walk this late it's like almost 8 p.m and the neighborhood is so lively and there were just so many people out and about with their dogs and their families and friends and it was so cute um, it was just really nice, so I think I'm gonna try to do it more often because it was really nice. It's Wednesday morning, I just finished teaching, and now I'm heading to um, Midtown to sign in for an audition. 
and then I'm gonna come back home and get ready and go back to that audition. So that's what the morning has in store for us. Um, yeah. I just went to the wrong Ripley Greer. And if you know, you know, like every performer has done this. This is like probably my fifth time I've done this, but there are two Ripley's on 8th Avenue and I went to the wrong one. Also, same thing happens with Pearl. Sometimes you end up going to the wrong Pearl, but they're across the street. This one's like a few streets down. This elevator is so much cuter. At this location, look at that. <laughs> okay, signed up on number 17, which is pretty good. All right, I'm back home. I just showered and did my makeup for the audition and the rest of the day. I got my sandwich, just made that. Um, so I have to leave here in like an hour and a half, hour 15 minutes. I'm gonna eat the sandwich, do my hair, make sure my bag has everything I need in case the audition runs late where like I won't have enough time to come back home before my dance class tonight. My class tonight isn't until 8 p.m. Um, it's so funny because I'm sitting here like kind of stressed about the day just because something that stresses me out is days that are really long, even if I have like breaks in between. But like if I have like I started at 8 a.m. this morning and I won't finish until 10 p.m. And like that just stresses me out. Um, and I I'm sitting here like why am I doing this to myself because technically like most of this stuff I'm choosing to do like I'm choosing to go to this audition I'm choosing to go to this class and like I don't have to but you know I don't have a good reason to not y'all I'm struggling so hard to get to this 8 p.m. class but I have to do it I didn't make it to dance class last night. Um, so, today, it's Thursday. Um, not gonna lie, I'm having a rough day today. Um, I found out I didn't get a call back for something that I really like had such a good feeling about and was like very, very hopeful about. Um, so I found out I didn't get a call back and I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty sad. <laughs> um, I hate when I let myself get sad about things like that because literally this is like what I signed up for pursuing this career, but sometimes you just get freaking sad. So I'm kind of struggling today. I'm feeling a bit sad <sighs> and just like, you know, once one thing hits you like that, then like a bunch of things hit you. Um, but today, I put on a little outfit. And nice and comfy. I'm going to go to one of my local coffee shops and work on editing my book. I decided to like take the day off theater-wise because I'm just like not in a good headspace. There was an audition that... Um, it was, so yesterday was the singer call for this one theater and today's the dance call. I got seen at the singer call, so I didn't feel like I had to be seen today at the dancer call and I figured let me give myself a break today um, because I'm, yeah, not in like a good headspace theater-wise today. So I'm just gonna pour my heart into something else I love, which is writing. And I'm also really grateful that there's something else that I love that I can like put my attention towards when I'm struggling a little bit. Um, so I also was thinking about um, on my cruise ship contract, one of my favorite things was going to coffee shops and writing. And I really miss that. And I was sitting here and I was like, why 
I don't have to sit in my apartment and write here like I live in one of the best cities in the world I can go and like find cute coffee shops so I'm gonna start with one of my local ones today and I think I'm gonna try to like branch out and go to different ones every week so yeah got my little writing outfit on I'm gonna pack up my stuff there's all of my <laughs> chapters I have left to edit charging up my computer so I could bring it once that's ready I'm gonna go I totally forgot to film in the coffee shop and it was so cute so I'll literally insert this Instagram picture I took Okay, now I am gonna walk to Trader Joe's. It's like a 20, 25 minute, or no, 25 block walk. So I'm gonna use that as like part of my exercise of the day. And then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because I have a coupon, no, I have a gift card. And going to Trader Joe's makes me really happy. So I think that's gonna help brighten my mood a little bit. Look at my hands. I don't know if you can like fully see. I just carried these heavy ass bags. Um, look at this little succulent I got. I'm gonna keep it in my window I think or on my bookshelf. I don't know, but it's so cute. Look at this gorgeous dinner I just made. I made like a pesto pasta with arugula delish we're getting back on the horse today um it's barbie day the day that barbie is released in theaters so um i'm taking a class today at steps with sarah meal and she has been posting like everybody better be wearing pink so that's that um, I have some time this morning, so I'm going to work on my turns and stuff. So, woo! We got our TheraBand. And I'm working on um, my, like, ankle and toe strength, which helps with your turns. So, we're going to focus on that a little bit this morning before I head off to the rest of my day. Um, I had a great dance class. Now I'm on Fifth Ave doing some shopping. I saw somebody on TikTok do like a day in the life and they were in Abercrombie. And I saw this dress in the background of their video and I was like, I need to try on that dress. So I literally came to this Abercrombie to try on the dress and I love it. It's like a really good, cute audition dress slash like a date dress or just if you want to be in um, so yeah, I'm like just being, I kind of feel like a tourist right now, just on the bath, shopping in my Barbie shirt. We're pouring a glass of wine. I'm going to watch a new episode of The Summer I Turned Pretty. This, this is my ideal Friday night. Like, dance class into this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> hey, we made it to Sunday. Um, I am on my way to meet Tyler and we're gonna see the Barbie movie. I'm so excited. I just got my snacks because I'm a girl on a budget, can't afford that movie theater popcorn or soda. So hopefully I can sneak it in. I think I can. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see the Barbie movie. I'm heading over to the west side to do that. And then we might grab some lunch and drinks after to just have like a nice Sunday. Hey boys, are you excited? T tell everybody what we're seeing. What? 
What did you say? <laughs> it's okay, Josh nailed it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta clean your We're ears off. We're Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> I still got the plastic. We're this ready. might take a while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now this is no great. We're ready for Barbie. And away we go. <laughs> back home Ooh, the movie was so great go see Barbie um I am winding down on my Sunday and I'm making my plans for the week here's my little color-coded planner and I'm making some dinner um whoa, so much is going on I'm making my like new meal obsession which is salmon fried rice so i do salmon jasmine rice with this i do the salmon with this um salmon rub from trader joe's some broccoli um and then i'm gonna do an egg when i like fry the rice together with the salmon and then gluten-free soy sauce it is so good it gives me that like that like fix I want from takeout food because I love ordering fried rice takeout food. Um, so it gives me that fix and it's so easy to make and it's good for you. So that's my dinner. I'm just gonna relax. Uh, tomorrow I have an audition. I'm teaching three classes and I'm starting social media for my um, studio that I teach at. So I might put the... Mm, Check my Instagram and I'll share that studio's Instagram because I need followers to get it going. So yeah, that'll help me out. I think that's it. Um, I had a kind of a hard week, but it ended up pretty good. I'm back on the horse. I'm all right, <laughs> we're doing good. And that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Please, I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this, please subscribe and that's it. See you next time.